This episode of One on One is brought to you by ATV. Today we got funny man, Dr. Keller. Welcome to One on One because you're a very funny guy. But comedians generally know life, don't they? Yes, they do. They do. We we are alive. Uh, the very reason why we make people laugh. So we know life as it is, and uh, more than most people think. Aguero boy, small town. How did you get into comedy? I think it was a natural shift because at school I used to do drama. And, um, you know, when I finished school, I moved to Harare. And then I realized it was, it was in me to make people laugh. As an MC at weddings, since I was in Form 3, and I used to do MCing at weddings, making people laugh. So you can read the audience. It's How bigger. do you go to complete strangers and know they're expecting you to make them laugh? Humility. Really? Exactly. In You've got to know you're the best comedian in the world, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you're no. the best, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Brilliant. If you oh, go with brilliant. that, if you go with that mentality, you, they, they will see it in you that you're you're boastful, uh -huh. you're too full of yourself. Yeah. Because it's about being humble, humility. You have to show, you have to make sure that they look at you as that, ah, you know, that they don't regard highly of you on stage. Do you have to act like you're an idiot? You have to be an idiot. Okay. Because if you act, it, it won't be. That's funny. why I like you so much, man. <laughs> Give us one of those Sulu jokes. Come on. Oh, okay. So um. I... So we gonna get Sulu here, I tell you, he's gonna rebuttal you. Yeah, well yeah, I think now we are good friends with Sulu because um he actually he wants me to entertain his family actually yeah. one, one day. Then I've got Mike Samba. Yeah. Oh I love him man. Yeah. Radio DJs also, you know, like you have got your, your, your news readers in Shona. Yeah. Because these are things that I, when I was growing up, I would, I would watch on TV and then get excited. I was that happy chappy? You got excited listening to the news. Exactly. Listen. That is why you're a comedian, my brother, because most people <laughs> don't get excited. Yeah, you know. Um, so um, so you know, 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 you you know, you know, you know, it's, it's one tone. Exactly. Throughout. Exactly. You see, and then you, you, you DJs on style like, on Power FM. You listen oh, yeah. to Power FM. There's a DJ Scott. Yeah, I'm just gonna rock you right now, Power <laughs> FM. You know. And then you radio Zimbabwe. Do you know what I'm talking about? 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 Do <laughs> I'm like, why are you laughing? You know, like it's yeah. so. So these are things that you, you, you in our borders, they affect us every day, and we tend to to look at them and and do jokes. Let's now come back to your material. Yeah. When you're creating some of the things that are making you famous, yeah. Trevor Noah, South Africa. Yeah. I mean, what a phenomenon! And he could laugh at himself. Oh yeah, true. You have to laugh at yourself, have a degree of humility. You've talked yeah. about, but what other topics are coming to your forefront of thinking right now that young people, people are going through? Um, I think the first, the first, uh, the biggest thing that comes to me is when I walk out of my door. For someone who's, I'm still living in the ghetto. Uh, yeah. For people, is best known to me. You know, like it's 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 the it's tough out there. Yeah, yeah. So so you when you go out, the first things you see are moving material, people arguing about things. So the social lives develops a core of where my jokes come from. I observe. I'm very observant when it comes to creating material. And then from those social jokes, I'm saying, how can I escalate the jokes? Because now you know we are going to a global stage where you have to be very smart. Comedy is an art. Okay, it's easy to retell to just uh, b b recite a WhatsApp joke, but it's different for you to create a gag. So now our politics now uh, and the economy now become they become the punchlines of this social uh, setup. So my joke comes from a, so from a social basis, but then it's because of, the, of politics and the economy. These things they tie in; it becomes a whole gag that covers almost everything and allows us to laugh at ourselves. Exa exactly, exactly. Dog for Kelo. Be back with you in one moment. Hold on to that thought. Um, okay. But <laughs>